Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Today, we're going to continue with the review of the alphabet, okay? Remember, all of the letters started with the letter A until letter R. Now, for the letter R, remember, we saw two objects. Do you remember what objects are they? Excellent. The radio and the ruler. Now remember, the radio is an object of communication that transmits music so we can dance to it. And also the ruler, it's a measure instrument, okay? So an instrument para medir. And all of them are made of plastic. Also, what about the names of people? Do you remember Robert or Roberto? It's a, no, it's a name that is made using the letter R. So for today, as you can see here, we have the letters in small form or in Spanish with them as minúsculas. Now, for this, we're going to have a review because at the end, I'm going to show you a new object that uses the letter R. Okay, so let's begin. For this, remember, whenever we, we see the review of the alphabet in a small form, we're going to say names of people. Whenever we see them in capital form, we use objects. But today, we're going to use names of people. Let's begin. Small a, Alonso, small b, Brenda, small c, Carlos, small d, Diego, small e, Emmanuel, small f, Frida, small g, Geraldine, small h, Hannah, small i, Irma, small j, Jacob, small k, Carla, small L, Lily, small L, M, Monica, small N, Nicole, small O, Oscar, small P, Pedro, small Q, Quetzal, small R, Robert, or Robert in Spanish, okay? Now, what about the new object? The new object using the small r is the ring. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you characteristics about the rings. First of all, as you can see here, the ring, it's a beautiful stone in, in rhombus form, okay? The shape and form of the beautiful stone is like a rhombus, which is a geometric shape. Okay, now the rhombus or the beautiful stone can have different colors, but one of the most common are the color purple. And another characteristic of the rings is that it's an accessory that we use in our hands. Now, all of our hands, remember, have different names. This one is called the thumb, this is the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the little finger. The rings, we use them here in this finger. That's why we call them ring finger. Lo vamos a utilizar en estas manos como accesorios, okay? Those are beautiful stones that we use them on this finger as accessories. Now the word ring uses the letter R. Another characteristic of the ring is that it uses a circle so we can put it here inside this finger. Now, the circle that is around the beautiful stone can have different colors. The one that I'm using here is color orange. So, for this, please repeat after me with all of your energy and very, very loud. Small R, ring. One more time, a little bit louder. Small R. Ring. Very good. Excellent. Excellent pronunciation, my children. So that's it for today. Now, before we finish, I'm going to tell you what's the activity for today. 
The activity for today is located on your daily book and it's right here on this page. As you can see, we have the small R and we have the ring. First of all, the most important part of this activity is tracing the letters, okay? Now, all of these letters are invisible. Now, in order to become visible, we have to trace them. Remember to wrap your pencil properly, three fingers, the thumb, index, middle finger, to create a triangle, and we're going to start tracing. While you are tracing, it's very important to say the name of the letter. Mientras remarcan, es muy importante decir el nombre de la letra para que no se nos olvide. Small R, small R, small R, all of them until you finish them. Now, once you finish tracing all of the letters, the, more, the second part becomes here. Now, in here, you have to paint the ring. Now, if you want to paint it with color purple and color orange, just as the teacher did, you can do it. But if you want to use another type of colors, if you want to use your crayons, different colors, there is no problem, okay? Very good. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Remember, it's very important to uh, review all the letters constantly, to remember them, to practice them, because tomorrow we're going to start with a new letter. So it's very important that all of these letters, you remember them by heart. That's it. Take care. Goodbye.